use cold laser to heal dental problems? And which one is better for use if it is good? Well, yes it is. Cold laser is actually ideal because uh, most dental issues are with their gums or surrounding tissues and they're very responsive to the light from the laser. And so the way that I would suggest it is done is you put these wonderful covers over the spooky two cold laser twin and you put them into your mouth. And then you try and talk. <laughs> and the the light, you, don't, you shine it directly over your gum or your problem area and it's very direct. It doesn't have to go through skin and so it's not a diffused light. It goes directly over your gums or whatever and it, um, it does its healing magic. Some people have asked, can we use this spooky cold laser wrist for our gums? Well, you can. You can open your mouth and shine it inside. And because it's got more lasers, there will be more energy going into your mouth. So I guess the stimulation, the healing stimulation will be, will be greater. But there's the inconvenience of it being so large. And so I guess most people would have difficulty filling it inside. If you have it on the side of your face and you wish to treat inside your mouth for a dental issue, the laser has to go through the skin, the subcutaneous fat and your mucous membranes before it reaches the gums and so the strength of the laser is going to be reduced. And so it's probably not the best way of, of using the spooky cold laser. But it is another way if you want to experiment. Maybe if you do find success using it, that method you can write and then let us know. But I don't think it would be very successful. <laughs>